Cheers, Drew. It's your boy again. It's good to have you back here, man. It's great to be back. Yeah. Did you have yes. a good couple days off? I did. It was absolutely wonderful. We did nothing. Wonderful. Yes, I swam when I had to for appearance's sake, so I didn't seem like I was being lame. <laughs> but then I stayed inside and played Donkey Kong Country for a lot of the weekend. So there you go. Drew into the river this weekend. So I did. lake gone. technically. But oh, the lake. Okay. A, a body of liquid. Yes. <laughs> a body of liquid. Mm -hmm. Never heard it called that. Um, today we want to talk to you about the new Paniter Avatar demos. So Paniter Avatar, we already did a video with Dante back earlier this year where we smashed the pen with a hammer. Yeah, you did. And uh, we're going to do something else but it didn't in this smash. video too. Like it didn't... Uh... It was very, very difficult to yeah. put any kind of a hurt on that pen. We smashed other pens to smithereens. Um, but anyway, we may or may not try something in this video, so stay tuned. Um, but we want to talk about these pens specifically, some good things, and some some quirks. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a very real video, yeah. but we wanted to show you this pen in its full glory. So first off, talking about the Avatar, so these are made in Italy. Heck yeah. Uh, these are all coming from Florence. Um, and these have, uh, this is Dante Del Vecchio behind these. So he's innovating, he's iterating, so he's built upon what he's already done with the Avatar. Um, one thing that he's changed is the resin itself. So he still has this unbreakable resin, which is super durable and very tough, but it's in a translucent, like demonstrator style version in four different colors. As far as I'm aware, there's never been this like, quote unquote, unbreakable resin in a demonstrator before. I don't know how he does it. He's very secretive about it, but it's some kind of formulation that he's come up with for this resin. It's that super makes cool. it super durable. So we're gonna test that. Uh, but there's four different colors. There is a clear, a red wine, amber, which is the yellow looking one, and sky blue. Hey. Nice looking colors too, like pretty deep, very jewel tone. And when they're all together, I feel like they group well. Absolutely. They kind of have a, a theme. Even though they're, you know, totally different, they look well as a group. Very pleasing. It's got that nice kind of quill clip, spring clip on it, just like the other avatars do. And remember when he was here last, he told us about how only three pieces are used to assemble these clips. There's just the yeah. spring, there's a uh, like a rod that connects everything together mm -hmm. and then the actual clip itself and well, with these demonstrators and this is the, the avatar the regular avatar had the same technology but with the demonstrators you can actually you can see, see what's going on it's like I think that's I think that's even cooler it really is it's really it's uh, beauty and simplicity yeah because some people with the, with the regular avatar they're like they don't maybe don't love that you can see the pin through the mm -hmm. side of it maybe that that's an aesthetic thing this, I feel, is much less disruptive. And no glue. You're seeing all the innards. There's no glue on this no entire glue. pen. Just mechanics. I think that's really fascinating. And it speaks to the intentionality behind this pen. And then another change they did was on the grip. So the other ones have a metal grip, which, like any shiny metal, could scratch. These are, well, unscratchable because they're rubber. Yep. So it's a translucent rubber that the color matches the body of the pen. Um, and there's not a lot of rubber gripped fountain pens out there. Maybe a couple of kid pens that are out there. I can but... think of some that have that like rubberized plastic. Yeah. But this is a legit sleeve. Sleeve of rubber. It's like yeah. a sleeve of rubber that you could mm -hmm. you'd find on other writing instruments. Yeah. There's some good things about it. There's some bad things about it. We're gonna cover the bad things later on. Um, but it's very very comfortable. You get amazing control. It gives it kind of like a soft close feel mm -hmm. to the cap because it kind of provides just the right amount of friction yeah. to give it like this soft close. Mm -hmm. So you still get that hard snap with the magnetic cap, but it's yeah, has, this, yeah, it has this one kind of kinda... that, sort of like you have like soft closed hinges and and really nice kitchens and stuff. Mm -hmm. It sort of feels like that a little bit. There you go. <laughs> um, it's made of a special rubber that is anti-aging, anti-yellowing. Apparently, so okay. We haven't had them long enough to really be able to test. Wait, it this early. one's already yellow. Well, okay, oh. maybe that one. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's pretty cool. It does take a little bit to clean it, and we're going to cover that because we want to be very real with you all. Yep. Um, it's a standard international cartridge converter. The cartridge, or sorry, the converter is included with the pen. And then another kind of quirky, cool thing that Dante came up with um, is he has this uh, ink level on the converter. Now it doesn't have a like specific measurement. Nope. It's kind of a novelty. It just says um, ink level. Yeah. But with some I lines. Know, I don't know how easily you can see that. Andy. Maybe that's a little easier, but. Boom. So kind of neat little thing, almost like yeah. a little word gauge of sorts uh, on the converter itself. So that's kind of fun. Paniter uh, uh, first on that one. Uh, so those are coming on this. And then uh, what else we got here? So it'll take standard international cartridges uh, as well, if you ha that happens to be your thing. Um, 
Now we're talking about filling the pen. This is where things get a little interesting, right? That they do. Because, well, you go ahead, Drew, because you've played with these a little bit. Yeah, so the grip is a first. So with every first come some quirks, right? Mm -hmm. And this is no exception. So um, with this pen, I filled from the nib unit and the feed. And as you can see, a good amount of ink got in between the grip uh, the grip sleeve and the middle grip that's behind it. Mm -hmm. So you can definitely see that and you can manipulate it and squeeze it around. There's definitely some ink in there. Um, writing with it, uh, I didn't get any on my fingers, but I gave it to some people who did. It, I, it can definitely kind of squirt out there. I think, you know, when you were handling it, that Yeah, if, you, if you're coming off a fresh filling and the ink is right there, it can squeeze out a little bit and get on your fingers, which I know is going to annoy some people. So yeah. that is definitely something to take into account when you're filling this thing. Yeah. Um, we've, we've let Penider know about this and, and they're aware they're going to be thinking about how they can maybe Im improve that a little bit. Um, but what they recommended was uh, just taking the converter off the pen, filling the converter directly from the mm -hmm. ink bottle and then putting it back onto the pen. And it is not difficult to clean when you're um, cleaning your pen. What you can do, you can remove this whole thing if you want to, or you can simply pinch it so that you can you, you create a gap in the rubber sleeve and mm -hmm. just flow water between the yeah, sleeve. Yeah, like have it under a running faucet. Mm -hmm. The running water will work its way around the yep. rubber and clean it out relatively easily. Right. Alter you, you alternatively, would, you would ink these up with a couple of different types of ink. Yeah, I ink these up to... with some uh, more high maintenance ink. So look, that slit right off really easily. And you can see underneath it, it does have a um, just a clear, I'm sorry, not clear, this is clear, just a metal, grip section. Um, it's not tapered or anything. It's not super comfortable to write with, so you definitely do want to have the sleeve. Wipe it off there. But yeah, we can wipe this off, give it a good cleaning. Um, but it's smooth metal underneath there. It's not really going to stain permanently. I mean, we're not. Yeah. We're just wiping it. We're not yeah. really. Yeah. You'll want to get some pen flush or some warm water uh, to get it super clean. But yeah, it cleans off pretty well. Now this I have not cleaned before, so this will be a little bit of an adventure. So and a little water or anything. Yeah. Um, do you have any pen flush? I think I do. Ideally, just to avoid all this, you would use the snorkel filler and fill directly through the converter. I just don't think that uh, the win you'll get filling from the nib and the feed is going to be worth the hassle personally. And I think that the, the snorkel filler is a great tool for a lot of different reasons, this being one of them. That's just water, you. so you can try out. Oh, just, just with water, see what that does yeah. for you. I mean, I'm definitely getting some pink coming off here. Yeah. Um, I mean, the grip itself is a little pink, too. The clear one? Oh, is that pulled off the clear? Oh, that's off the clear one. Yeah, this is the clear. I thought that was the red one. Nope. Yeah, it definitely stained a little bit. Um, if you have something like this, Penider can replace these for you. They have a good stock of them. They're not going to let you, you know, get up a creek without a paddle. But um, yeah, I think that with some effort, you could probably get this to be all the way clear again. This is just with very minimal effort and just with water, as Brian said. So, but again, personally, well, I'll try it with pen flush. Um, yeah, personally, I would just use the snorkel filler. What you can do if you do use the snorkel filler, one downside to not filling through the feed and the nib is that you're gonna have to saturate the feed and the nib with the converter, um, and then that's only gonna water. leave you with like half of a converter's full. So what you could do is you could saturate your converter after you fill, sorry, saturate the nib and feed after you fill the converter, and then pop the converter back off, fill it again with a snorkel filler, and have quite a bit of ink in there. So that's what I would do. Um, Can I see it real quick? Yep. I just want to try it with a little flush. Go for it. Um, so that is Noodler's Base State Cape Cod Cranberry. Which is a classic uh, challenge of an ink. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? <laughs> this is the wrong material to use. You got to clean this with bleach, not uh, not pen flush. The the Cape Cod uh, cranberry, oh. the Noodler's base states don't clean up that well. With I'm just realizing this now as I'm cleaning it out. I mean, it kind of helps a little bit, but okay. So that's something good to keep in mind, especially if you have the clear one. If you're using an ink that's particularly stain worthy, um, I don't have any bleach on me. I can't <laughs> I can't ad hoc put that together. But yeah, I honestly just wouldn't wouldn't worry about it. It's 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 just a bit more of an or, or if I am the writer and I am buying this pen and using this pen, this is more of an ordeal than I would want to do. And that's yeah. why the snorkel filler exists, to make this a little bit easier. Fair enough. Here, let me try with a little flush. See what it does on this one with the sink. 
Just curious. This is the first time we've done this, so you're yeah. getting to watch as we live kind of experiment here. Not really. Okay, this is actually doing a really good job. Yeah, that's coming out. Yeah. But are, are you, you going to want to do this in between every every fill? I know? personally am not, but if this right. works well with your cleaning routine, then you might be just fine with it. Yeah. I think going the snorkel route is really good. We have a video on using the snorkel. Um, I'll drop it in the water there. There, that actually that actually pretty much got it. Yeah, and if you want to, you could fill it with it off and then just put it on when you're done filling. There's a lot of ways you could probably you could. work your way around this challenge. But again, snorkel filler is there for you if you need it. And I'll show you real quick the snorkel, just how to use it on this pen. It works like any other cartridge converter pen using the snorkel. We have that video that you can reference, but um, literally all you have to do is pull off the converter, you take the snorkel, you stick it in the end of the converter, and then you can just, you know, suck it up. Whatever ink is your choice. Ta-da. Suck it up. And then you just stick it back on there. You gotta clean out the snorkel. Um, but voila. Yeah, this got nice and clean, Brian. And it's ready to go. Yeah, this was a uh, Liberty's Elysium in here. Okay. Cleaned out really nicely. Ooh, I got ink on my leather. That's not great. Oh, well, it's nice and used now. That's right. It's going to um, happen eventually. Exactly. Uh, okay. Uh, let's talk about the writing experience real quick before we smash the pens. Bach um, nibs, right? Bach nibs, stainless steel, number six size. So, um... Nice overall performing nibs I found. Uh, I have looked at the several of them under uh, several of them under a loop, inked up and used a couple of them, and I actually am, am quite pleased with how they perform. So I think you all will be pretty happy with them too. Of course, pens in this price range, you know, it's 198 MSRP, looking around 156 or so, 158. Um, our price is for them. Uh, it's definitely kind of more in the premium range for a steel nib. But it's a, it's a nice performing pen, feels super comfortable, it's very well balanced. So I think it is going to be a good writer if you can get around the filling thing. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to be good for most of you. And again, uh, Penider was super innovative in coming up mm -hmm. with something like the Snorkel that can fit in several different converter types. Absolutely. So you can't just use it for your Penider, you can use it for a lot of various other converters, which you know I think we have listed and you can check out yeah. in our other video. And just because I tried this, um, it's worth a mention, I did fill from the Penider pen filler because I wanted to see would that kind of bypass the grip, you know, would that maybe work? Um, and that's what I filled with this pen. I still got a little bit of ink mm -hmm. in the grip, so it's not as bad, not right. enough where I think it would like get all over my fingers, mm -hmm. but it's still a little bit under there. So it's Yeah, not like and it depends on how you're filling for sure. I filled all of these with sample vials, which to get a full fill, you want to tilt a little bit. Mm -hmm. And so if you're filling directly from a very, very full bottle of ink and you can get it to be just under the grip section, you'll be fine. Yeah. But you know, that's not always going to be the case. Exactly. Um, I want to show the box too. I don't know if the box is always going to stay this way, um, but the packaging, the presentation is nice. Of course, it's Peniter, so um, it's got their Peniter green. The pen just kind of rests in here just like so. Um, so the presentation of it is is really nice too, if you happen to be giving it as a gift or something like that. It's sharp. Overall, really sharp looking box, and it's in there securely. It's like a, a, a die cut foam that's in here that holds the pen very securely. So I'm very pleased to see that. That's nice. And then one other thing that we're doing, this won't be like a forever thing, but if you're watching right now, within, I don't know, the first few weeks maybe of when we're shooting it, we at Goulet Pens, in order to put our best foot forward with this, because of the grip thing, we're going to include a snorkel with the pen at our dime um, just for you so that you all can, if you have any reservations about that, you can at least get that snorkel and try it out. So we're kind of doing that as for those of you who are willing to try out a brand new pen like this with a grip that really hasn't been done before, we want you to, to give us some feedback on it. So maybe if you're getting that, try it out, give us feedback, and we'll do that for you. That is so super cool, Brian. It's, I know, you're right? You're such a cool guy. Well, you know. Look at um, that. But we're not going to do it forever, but we'll do it for a, I don't know, a certain period of time. We're going we're gonna to play it by ear, but be on the lookout for that. It won't be around forever. Um, last thing we wanted to do here is test the durability of these pens, Drew. What do you mean? By, like, squeezing it? or? Well, I, uh, no. I mean, it feels very sturdy. Like, this is not a flimsy pen. Um, Dante had this this cute little hammer. Uh, I don't have a cute little hammer. I have, like, large hammers and sledgehammers and stuff. I didn't think that was appropriate. We have this um, cup. It's also not very practical. So I thought, I thought like, what are you most likely to wait, wait, do? Wait, 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 what do you, we don't need to put... Well, I've got this very, about, this very durable, very about. sturdy stainless steel Contigo coffee mug. 
which I am very, I gesticulate a lot, which means I talk with my hands. So it's very possible that I could be talking with my hands, my coffee mug could slip out, and I could just wait, smash wait, wait. the pen with it, you know? Wait, and it's just it, on the body, it, on the cap. It, 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 it's very possible it, it, that that could, you uh, think you might could ruin accidentally the pen. Do you accidentally do that? Uh, do you see any? Can you even if you tell? can accidentally Other do than that, the ink like busting inside of the pen, like. I, Brian, I, I, I have thoughts on this. I literally, I literally can't even see a scratch. I, you know what? That's 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 impressive. But <laughs> the ink looks like uh, uh, it's been through some stuff. Good God! No, <laughs> I'm I'm just afraid of my own safety. If you feel you can accidentally smash the living bejesus out of a pen, it could happen. I'm like, like worried, oh, like, should I'm I not? Tripping. I'm tripping. Oh no. oh no. Oh no. I, I don't want to. Myself. If this is an a possible accident, I don't want to be near you. What could happen to me? Yeah. I mean, I'm Andy, not indestructible. You can I'm much ahead. more fragile than that pen. You can go ahead and get a close up oh. on that if you want. Um, but I thought, you know what? All right. That's, that's just that's, that's just one scenario that could happen. No, that's got to be enough. No, I don't think so. No, because that's enough. Brian. A lot of times, Drew, I have my. It's not enough. It's, not <sighs> it's never enough. Oh my God! What are you doing? I'm thinking, you know, if I'm getting out of my car and the pen is like clipped onto my shirt, I, I happen to trip and try to catch myself. The pen rolls under my tire. I forgot to put the parking brake on, and maybe if the car rolled over top of the pen, I'd be curious to see what would happen. So. We're gonna go replicate that for you right now. All right, we're out here in the parking lot. I'm gonna run over it with my car. Gross vehicle weight is 2,955 pounds. Let's see how it does. Yes. Okay, now back the other way. And... All right, so we ran over what, six times total? Got a little bit of a scratch there from the gravel, but uh, no cracks at all on the pen. That's insane. Still, that's, I'm sure it's still gonna write perfectly fine. So yeah, I would say that's pretty unbreakable. Yeah. Good job, Dante. All right, so this pretty much is a, where we could end. Please, let, 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 let's pen. end. We don't need to do anything Are you sure? Else. I, you we don't have get a sledgehammer in your office, do you? No, I don't, unfortunately. Thank you. I think this pretty much constitutes a real world scenario that you have with this pen. So um, you can learn more about this on goulaypens.com. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our videos if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching and right on.